Hey everybody, this is Corey. Uh, I just want to let you guys know I'm working on a little project uh, on Otis right now. Um, all the different mounting companies don't put anything out for a Jeep Commander, so I'm going to do my own. Now what we're going to do is we're going to mount these things up on the dashboard like that and I have a bar to go across that will go in there like that and then we can mount things like this iPad holder and phone holders on there. First thing we got to do is we got to take out these four screws right here. There's uh, four, eight, 12, 16 total that hold the dashboard in. So we have to take those out first. Now that we've got all the screws out, it's just a matter of popping it off. And then we can get to work on it. And I've already got one hole drilled in here and I'm just gonna mark for the other holes. So I'm going to basically tighten this down. I've got carriage bolts, quarter inch by one inch long and uh, matching washers and matching lock matching lock nuts. There's that, and we can mark our second hole. I just thought that a Sharpie lid would have been so hard to come off, huh? Yeah. You got me an eyeball on it and I marked it. Well, I think it needs to be cut so I can have a little bit of play anyway. And that's that. So now I got to cut it. Oh, what? I was trying to help. Never mind. Uh, let me see here. Something I gotta give. Yeah, I was gonna say, what if you 
and take that off and then slide the pole on and then put the little bolts That's on. That's what we'll have to do. It's gonna be like a Hail Mary handle. Yeah, kinda. For me. Yep. Need my little fingers to get in there. Trying to hold these dang things on. So I can get these carriage bolts set. Set the set screw so this thing don't jiggle too much. That is the best screwdriver in all the world. I love ratcheting tools. So just got to put the dashboard screws back in and then we can start hanging stuff from it. And there's the finished product. I have my iPad holder on there, and Crystal's got her own little phone holder over there, and it will work just fine. And it's sturdy. Yeah, it is. We can put more stuff on there, too, if we need to. Yeah. Just so we're clear, one of the things that I did do is I used carriage bolts because they would be more flat on the inside, and I didn't want to have that become a problem with the way the, the dashboard seated. So there you have it, in all of its glory. The reason I did this was because nobody ever gives any love to Jeep Commanders. Sorry, there's a lot of cars going by. Nobody ever gives any love to any Jeep Commanders, and they don't make aftermarket parts for them that you can customize, you know, your comms and do GPS stuff and stuff like that. You could do like an Wrangler. Uh, there's several other companies, Ram Mount, 67 Design. All of those companies are great companies, don't get me wrong, but they just don't make any parts for the Jeep Commander. So I took it upon myself to make my own. Hope you liked it. If you did, uh, give us a thumbs up. If you thought it was informative and if you uh, like to see more stuff like this in the future, give us a comment down below and tell us what you really want to see. And uh, if you have a mind to, go ahead and subscribe to the channel, and there's going to be a lot more stuff coming out. Uh, trail rides, expeditions, uh, camping, different things like that, and we'd love to have you along. Also, I wanted to let you all know, we got these new hat pins, and we're going to be getting some stickers pretty soon. If you'd like one of the hat pins, they're $5 each. Uh, wait for it and I'll have a shop uh, either on YouTube or on Facebook and you can purchase them there and uh, you can get your hat pin to support us. So thanks a lot everybody. We appreciate it. Until next time. Bye.